Okay. Dog, let me tell you something. The one <laughs> thing they teach is the criminal number one is don't take that deal. Don't take that take deal. Take that deal as they're setting up the jury and you'll take that's the best deal of your life. Just yeah. Keep telling them no. I kept telling them no. No, 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 no. <laughs> they offered me nine years. Nine years of the felony and a felony and a and a fucking And that was violent. a that was a good deal. It was a violent it was good. My attorney was like, it's a good deal. He was a black dude that was his grandmother was the first black graduate from the law school in Boulder. So he just hopped and played along and they did whatever the fuck they did. <laughs> So he comes to me one day, he goes, they want to give you nine years for kidnapping. Uh, kidnapping two, which means I would have done all four nine years. What I did was bait it out. Whenever you get in trouble, you bait it out. Uh -huh. The victim disappears. The victim couldn't go up in front of me because the victim had gotten a DUI. And then when he went to the hospital, he broke out and he robbed the pharmacy at the hospital. And he uh -huh. stole the liquid cocaine. So his credibility was gone. Who right. He had nothing. I could have held out in front of him for fucking years. So what my plan was to get a, since there was two fucking people, they hit him with a public defender, the other the biker, and they hit me with a court-appointed attorney because of this conflict of interest. That's why you oh. wait for him. If me and Lee get arrested, I wait for Lee to get the public defender first. And then they got to give you a different one. Then they got to give me a good one so at 200 an hour. You, you know what I'm saying? That's the smart move. A lot of people don't know that move. That's the smart move. If you get move. caught in the triangle, always wait for them to get the public defender. You're holding off. You're waiting for the Iranian. This is and educational. Just, just hold them off. The Iranian. Who's the? Is this on PBS keep, right now? This is an amazing. The keep the cop would be there shaking it down. <laughs> Who is the Iranian? The Iranian. He's going to call you. Who's the, the Iranian? Iranian? So by the time they put you back in the jail cell, yeah. he gets a public defender. Now that means I got to go up in front of the judge and they got to give me a real fucking attorney yeah. for 200 an hour, which I'm never going to pay. The state pays for. <laughs> I take that dumb fuck and I wear him out for a few months, right? And then I fire him. Then the judge gives me another 30 days to come up with a fucking attorney. That's exactly what I did. See, so I played Blackula for about fucking <laughs> 90 days till he came back. with Because I got arrested November 18th. So my shit went through the holidays. I right. had to sit in fucking court till like the 22nd. I sat in county till my bail dropped. So I was already playing them like a fiddle. They had come to me. The DEA came to me. A bunch of them. I got information, but get me out. You know, I got tons. I know who shot Kennedy. <laughs> I, I got it. I got Jimmy it all. Just, I got everything. Just, you just got to get me out of oh, here. Oh, yeah. Just get me out. And, they, and then nobody got me out. <laughs> but my the bail dropped to 3,000 cash. Boom. I got out. All right. And then I played the game with the attorney for two months. Yeah, 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 yeah. And to hit me with the 99-year thing. I told him to. I fired him. That took another two weeks in court. The victim snorting coke somewhere in Tucson. He's missing. You follow oh, me? So man. I'm just stalling for time. Right. And then Time's I your had friend the money. So point. now I got, I got 30 or 60 days to get a new attorney. I knew who I wanted. But I didn't pay him. I just kept talking to him, stalling. So what do you think? We, what can we do? Boom, 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 boom. And then I dropped it on him. I dropped the deposit, and he went to work on him. And he switched to fucking violent to nonviolent. He hired a private investigator looking to my past. There was no violence. So they switched that this guy was that badass, which in turn is why I'm here talking to you. Oh, if shit. not, I'd be in a prison with a dress on right now doing the midnight show. <laughs> Wow, damn. So you don't have to know how to play the court system. The that court is system, some goddamn you know, uh, story. The attorneys, you could always get a great attorney to buy time. A great attorney, especially in New York, could buy time. Yeah. I'm sitting across from Keith the Cop, who's a, a real, he was a real cop, and he was real dedicated, and he knows. He's not stupid. He's not. I grew up as the interpreter. See, I grew up in a Cuban house that they did numbers, so I was always the interpreter. Uh-huh. So that my parents spoke English until the cops came. Then nobody hablos. <laughs> no hablos. I've seen right? that before. Yeah. Spanish people no hablo nada, nada, nada. Right, right. Not no sé. No sé. Even the little <laughs> no Mexican sé. lady and man on fire. Remember? No sé. Es que no sé. <laughs> La niña. Que niña. No sé. Spanish people don't know no nothing. Sé. So even when we went to the attorney, my mother still playing like, I don't know nothing. So we had this attorney called Sam DeLuca. In Jersey City, look him up. He's a fucking savage. He's probably cutting deals on people from the grave. <laughs> really? The last time I Googled him, he was representing the fucking Mondino brothers or something in like a fucking fire case. He was bad to the bone. 
He, he always had to show up with suits. He had to bring two or three suits, and I was always the interpreter. And he would have just, you come into his office, keep the cop, and he would just say, how you doing, keep the cop? He'd be in charge with two uh, counts of bookmaking and one of money laundering. Here's the deal. I know the DA's brother on the case. For 200000 I'll get you six months probation. Oh, jeez, yeah. For 150000 I'll get you three months in jail and nine months probation. For 100000 you know, and he would just give you a fucking menu. <laughs> okay. Let me know what you want to do. Great yeah, to see yeah, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a week or two to decide what figure you were going to pick. Once you gave him his 200000 he stalled it. The cops forgot where they put the tickets. The evidence got stolen. Oh, it was God. a fucking scam. So, but what happened? Well, I thought it was supposed to be justice. It's supposed to be justice. <laughs> I don't. Uh... But, you know, it's like I'm watching Narcos, and they, they're they showing you this Mexican government that's so corrupt. Jesus Christ. I lived in a government in New York City, which <laughs> the cops will call you and tell you, listen, we're going to bust you today. You know? Just have a little bit of cash. <laughs> I have a couple of calculators. That's it. Yeah, they yeah. They showed up. They arrested you. They put handcuffs on you. And what a coincidence that in New York City, bookmaking used to be a misdemeanor. It's a felony over the fucking bridge. Hmm. Wow. What? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> bookmaking is a misdemeanor in New York City. You get arrested for bookmaking, you get a ticket. Yeah, yeah. And then if the cops take a 1000 from you, you meet them at the bar, and they give you 500 back, and everybody's happy. They make the papers, you make the papers, everybody's happy. You know what I'm saying? You make the police blotter, they make the arrest. It's a fucking system, yeah. you know. I don't know. Is it, is it still like that in, uh, I, don't I don't know, know. about I New don't York? In New York City. I think it's, I think they've really had to clean up I, I their I couldn't act. imagine getting in trouble like a place here. Yeah. A place here, everybody's straight laced, but everybody wants a Maserati. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody wants a fucking BMW, so you right. can make things happen. But I think if you have money, you could basically in any part of the country, you get the best attorney. If you watch the OJ versus show, as as the show is a great show, but what you learn is if you have enough money, and you hire three great attorneys. They'll eat you up alive. Yeah, and you put like it's like a great basketball team. And I'm not being racist to you. I'm just saying the truth. Five black guys, you go crazy. That's why the Celtics always won. They had Bob Cousy to slow the pace down. You got four fucking savages and one little Jew to run the show. <laughs> you, we're gonna, we're gonna get a not guilty plea. You know what I'm saying? All those years the Celtics were great. Yeah, they had Bill Russell and this guy and that guy, but there was that little white dude running the show to calm everybody down. Right. Brother, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Brother's gonna be all right. He didn't mean nothing by it. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I think that uh, the OJ thing did kind of show that. Wow, the money, yeah, the money, money really it's does like the work. Dallas in this Cowboys against a high school instance. team. Instance, it's like me putting the Dallas Cowboys against a high school team. Yeah, yeah. I get three high powered attorneys. I got ten million. I can do whatever the fuck I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Three million deep. You're rolling. Man. If that was Tyrone Simpson, and uh, he was up for murder, and his white wife and her, oh, her buddy. Oh, he would have been This wouldn't even have been. They would have electrocuted him at the jail. He <laughs> yeah, he yeah, yeah. The... <laughs> that wouldn't even have been a, a, an a issue. terrible accident. But uh, like OJ, OJ. My favorite of that to uh, whole uh, trial was uh, the, the verdict at the end when they acquitted him. And uh, Kardashian, Robert Kardashian, is standing next to him. The whole lawyers, they got OJ there. And the jury says, we find the defendant, Arnthal James Simpson, uh, Simpson not guilty and uh, Kardashian, Robert Kardashian, looks down, and you see him on the video. Looks down, he looks over, and and you could read his face going, "But he's fucking guilty, <laughs> but he did this," <laughs> and and it just goes to show you what a high-powered, expensive team of <laughs> lawyers can uh, can do. Because that motherfucker was so guilty. What a sloppy murder. You ever watch Forensic Files? It's amazing. These people try to murder someone and not get caught. They they do things. And forensic, they find little fibers and everything. OJ just went there, stabs him, slits their throat, blood everywhere, sloppy mess, walks away, leaves footprint, and they don't get him. They can't get him. on. It was the sloppiest murder ever. They missed two key pieces of elements. They missed fingerprints on the gate. It started raining that night. On his gate, or That's the, a lot of people don't know. It started scene. raining that night. It started yeah. raining in LA. Like it was like there was like a light drizzle, and they could only get a partial print. Uh, and there was some other blood. You know, 
but they fucking flipped it around. They played the race card. They made it a they, race they thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. They they just you know they just did beautiful stuff. The guy Barry Sheck did great work. The TNA guy. Yeah, he, he's, yeah. He's, he's tremendous. That's the guy you show up. That's with, amazing. Man. When things get dangerous. Back. He's the guy. He went into business after that. Uh, I guess he's still in business of get exonerating people that have been in prison based on DNA evidence. So he made a whole career out of uh, Listen, out of doing that. You it's walk great. into his office. It's two hundred G's. Oh yeah. Like just to walk in his office, think about it, 250 G's, oh. just to talk to him for an hour. Imagine. For him to let you know what he thinks. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the type, like, you got to dig the trench in the back. You got to <laughs> dig up grandma's money. You know what, I'm like, <laughs> what is it going to take for me not to? And he'll break it down for you. Yeah, yeah. What's he'll it going to take? Yeah. It's all about the course. I got to get three investigators. I guess that's not the way it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be like, regardless of your wealth or lack of it. You're supposed to be able to get a fair shake, uh, but you know you're never going to be able to hire those high power guys. And I don't even think it's the high power guy; it's who they know and who they've paid. And and it go you can have a genius lawyer that knows all the law, but he's got no connections, so you're going to get fucked. Listen, man, I did time, and I had tons of conversations along the way. You know. We, we sit around and we goof and we have a good time, but those people don't stand a chance. <laughs> Keep the cop, you know it. You know, if uh, a white kid gets arrested for possession and a black kid gets possession, arrested for possession and he's from a fucking social economic fucking hellhole, he has no money for an attorney, he gets a public defender. Yeah. Who has a caseload of 190 people <laughs> who doesn't even know the kid's name. He doesn't even know the kid's case. Yeah, yeah. So he gets to court that morning and he reads the docket. That's the truth. I've spoken to those Oh, guys. absolutely, yeah. And what it feels like to have an attorney and to go, <clears throat> wow, I'm still doing time, but I could have done 19 years instead of four. Yeah. You follow me? That's a big difference. That's a good attorney. Somebody who looks at you and said, listen, like, I, I went and met with a law professor at the University of Colorado in Boulder. He was a Spanish dude. He was referred to me by Sam DeLuca. Because when I came out, I knew my plan already. I had grown up in that world, so I knew the stall. I knew the stall method of fucking stalling the whole system. You know, it's really funny. I was telling somebody this story the other day. I got arrested in... November of 87. But in July of 85, I moved back to Boulder. And before I moved back to Boulder, this is just to let you people know the level of corruption that there is in this country. Hmm. In 1985, there was a bank. And when they made a bank, a card for Anthony Cumia, they made two cards. Hmm. One went to the bank, and one went to a guy named Lee up in the Bronx. <laughs> Shit. And when, you, when you'd call your account in, that guy found out who it was. And they did that all the time. And it was a huge thing in New York at the time. You remember Keep the Cop? When it was under $50, I didn't have to call it in. Under $50? Yeah, so if we go to a Chinese restaurant and yeah, we yeah. spend 21 for lunch, they would just put the card on the thing and roll it and give it to you and sign. Nobody's going to look through a book of stolen cars that the letters are this fucking big. You know, <laughs> yeah, back like, in the old days, that's what they would they do. Eat, they made it hard yeah, for yeah, you to yeah. know. Like, even if you look suspicious, even if you mm. had the ID for the guy on the card, there was one out of 50 people that would break the credit card book out for the week yep. and look through the numbers and go, your number now match the number here. That, that, that car stolen. I call police right now. <laughs> and you had to run out of the fucking restaurant. <laughs> but besides that, you know, Credit card was a big thing. When I went to San Francisco, it was traveler's checks. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, my God. They were like stealing. Yeah. They were like stealing. Just as good as cash. A guy like you come to me and go, I'm going on vacation. Where are you going? I'm going to Peru for a week with the family. How are you going to go down there? You're getting traveler's checks? Yeah. How much traveler's check you get? A thousand. I give them to me. Say you stole them. And I'll give you, when they give me a thousand, I'll give you back five. <laughs> and you make 500. And I make five hundred. What's the big deal? I would do. That we all day. win. I would do that all day long. That's a see. I don't even think like that. <clears throat> that's I, how I, I'm I not survive. saying. I, that's I, how I survive. That's amazing. Like that, that to me is is.
brilliant. From 10 planet Kush, it drains the lactic motherfucking acid. People won't cop to it. The health specialists say, no, that doesn't happen, Joey. Yes, it fucking does. I got friends at Harvard, bitch. I'm like God Brooks. I got friends in high places, motherfuckers.